Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you are already part of the family, welcome back. So as you guys can see, my background is kind of different. Um, I wanted to just kind of change it up and also because today's video is not going to be anything on makeup. Today's video is going to be something completely different. I went grocery shopping this week and I was like, huh, maybe I should talk about just how I do my grocery shopping and my grocery shopping routine and just kind of things that I do because I am a busy mom. Sometimes I have to go with my kids and it is a hassle. So by the time I'm done doing, going grocery shopping, I'm like drained, drained. Like, oh, I feel like I want like on a four mile like hike or something, you know, like physically, mentally, emotionally, I'm like done. So I have kind of just thought about, you know, a few tips and things that I do to make my grocery run a little easier, a little more budget friendly, and just a better experience overall. So my kids are outside and they are going a little crazy. My five-year-old is watching my one-year-old in the living room and I'm pretty sure it's a hot mess right now. But it's okay, I'm doing this for you guys. So I went ahead and just dotted down a few things, a few methods that I do to help me when I go to the grocery store to not lose my mind. So I'm gonna share it with you. So if you wanna see how I do my grocery run, just keep watching. So number one, what I try to do when I go grocery shopping is, I try to go once a week. Okay, I know some people that go once every two weeks. I know people that go once every month. But I try to go once a week for these reasons. Number one, I feel like when I buy my fruits and my vegetables and even like bread and dairy and like everything, I feel like it's fresher when I buy it just for the week. I feel like before I used to buy things for like at least two weeks and some of my fruits, my vegetables wouldn't last, wouldn't make it that long. So then I would have to like go back to the store, do like another run to get like, you know, vegetables or fruits to last me that second week. And then I would end up just like spending more money and buying things that I didn't need. And I was like, okay. So for me, it was just easier to just say, okay, I'm gonna go once a week, okay? So that's what I do to make it easier for me. I pick a day, usually a day where there's less volume, um, say maybe like, a Monday morning because Monday mornings people usually go to work right there's not a lot of people so the lines are shorter things are being restocked so they're maybe a little fresher um, so that's what I do I choose, choose a day where there's less volume and that's the day that I usually go okay the next thing that I do is I try to make a list of the things that I am going to buy and that is for several reasons number one I hate it when I go to the store right and I'm there for like an hour and a half and then I come back home and I'm like, oh, I forgot to buy soap or, oh, I forgot to buy Q-tips or, I don't know, tomato sauce or ketchup. I really, really like, oh, it gets to me. It bugs me when I forget one thing. I make a list throughout the week so that I know when I'm running out of things, I'm not leaving it to my memory because I know I'm going to forget. So, for example, if I run out of dish detergent or shampoo or just something that you won't normally buy, I will... Odds are I will probably forget it when I go to the store if I don't jot it down. So what I do is I jot it down. I have it on my phone. I write down, I have a, a list on my phone. I have an iPhone, so I have the app, the notes. So in there I have like a list that says groceries. So every time, you know, I hear Nathan or Lucia, mommy, we don't have any more shampoo, or mommy, we don't have any more toothpaste, whoop, I go in there and put it in there. As soon as something runs out, I write it on my list, because if not, I'm going to forget gonna happen it's happened before where I'm like okay these three things I can't forget them I can't forget them and as soon as I get to the store I'm like oh my goodness I can remember two but then there's that third that you just don't remember you're like I cannot remember I can't remember I can't remember for the life of you, you can't and that's when you remember as soon as you get home so what I do is that throughout the week I start putting things in my list already that I know coming up whenever I go grocery shopping I have to get okay and number two I make a list because I hate buying two of the same thing. Say if you're like, you know, about to go, right? And you don't look at your refrigerator and you don't look at what you have in your pantry. And you're like, man, you can't remember. Like, do we have enough ketchup? You just don't know. So because you don't know, you buy it just in case, right? That's what I do. I'm like, well, I'm not sure if we need ketchup, but let's just get it just because I don't want to have to come back to the store if I do need it. So I get it and then I get home and then I see that I have like an unopened 
ketchup bottle right there, right? So that's why it's super important. Go through your pantry, go through your refrigerator so you know exactly where you're at. Get like a visual of like your whole fridge so that even if you run into a ketchup, you go back to your vision, you're like, okay, did I have, yes, I remember seeing ketchup in the fridge and it was halfway, so we're good. We, I don't need to buy a new one, unless it's on sale. Another, another thing that I've been doing ever since, well, I started doing this when I first got married, is I create a menu. So I know exactly what we are eating for that week. And because I make a menu, that's why I can't go grocery shopping for two weeks, because I will go crazy in the store trying to find meals for two weeks. So... I make a list so I know exactly what we are all eating for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner for these seven days. So I know that, for example, if we're doing meatballs with pasta, okay, what does that inquire? Okay, I need to buy pasta, I need to buy the meat, either the frozen meatballs or the ground beef. If I'm doing them from scratch, what does that entail? Blah, 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 and I write it down there. And those are the things that I get. The whole point here is just to be organized. That's just it. Because if you just show up at the store, at the grocery store, and I've done it where I have had not any time to go even look at my refrigerator or my pantry or done any of that, boy, let me tell you, I have spent a lot more money on groceries because I don't know what I have, I don't know what I need, and I don't even know what we're going to eat. So I just start getting random stuff and... The bill comes out to be a lot more that we, than we budgeted, than we wanted to spend. And I'm like buying things that I don't know if I need or not. So, and I end up missing a lot of things that I do need. So the whole point here is when you go grocery shopping is to be organized. Another tip that I have that, that I have been doing for a while now is I do not cook every single day. I do not have time to be cooking every single day. No, I just can't. Some people love doing it and that's great, awesome for you, but I do not. So this is what I do. I actually cook once every two days. So I make enough food for two days, okay? So for example, if I make pasta and meatballs today, guess what we're having for lunch tomorrow? Pasta and meatballs, leftovers, absolutely. They're not really leftovers, It's I just make and I cook enough food for two days so I don't have to cook. And maybe some people are not okay with that and that is okay. A lot of these are just tips and things that I do. If they work for you, great. If they don't, it's okay. Just take what works for you and apply it. I've done it for, for already several years. My family's already used to it. My husband's already used to it. My kids already used to it. That's kind of how it is. They know, okay, mommy, we're having rice and beans with ground beef, okay? That's what we're having for today and for tomorrow. If that doesn't work good for you, sometimes what I do is that I make like the main protein, which could be say like chicken. So I do shredded chicken, right? And I just have two different meals with shredded chicken. So I'll do shredded chicken today and we'll have shredded chicken again tomorrow, but it'll be different. So maybe today we'll have it with like, I don't know, some veggies on the side. Well, tomorrow maybe we could have, you know, fajitas or tacos, but the same protein is the same. So it's not like you're cooking all over again. You're just adding different ingredients. What I don't want is just being in the stove and cooking and mixing ingredients and just cooking every single day. I just can't. So I make the food yummy enough so that my kids really like it and can eat it for two days straight. And my husband does that too. So this is kind of how it works. Since I already have a list and I already know what we're going to have for breakfast, for lunch and dinner, everything is just super simple, right? These menus that I do have to be easy, healthy, and simple. I have to be able to do these dishes and these recipes, even if I try a new one, and it shouldn't last more than 30 minutes. If it takes me more than 30 minutes to make a meal, is that happening? I'm not doing it. It's not happening. No. Why? I have, I'm busy. I have a life. I have other things to do. I cannot be in the kitchen all day. It just can't happen. So I make sure the recipes that I do and the meals that I do literally just take me 30 minutes. Okay? So that's what I mean easy. And like minimal ingredients. You know, every now and then, yes, we splurge and maybe I can do something that, you know what I'm saying, take, maybe takes me a little longer. But usually on a weekly basis, I try not to do something that takes me more than 30 minutes. That's like, like my, my magic number. 30 minutes or less. If it's less, perfect, okay? So now I'm gonna get into tips and how to save money in your grocery run, all right? Because I feel like sometimes we go and sometimes we spend more money than we should and we can't figure out why, what happened. So I have a few steps here that I use to keep my grocery budget on check, to make sure that my grocery bill is what I had budgeted for, okay? So number one is have a budget. That's not hard, right? Figure out how much you want to spend on food each week, 
okay? Me and my family of five, we spend an average of anywhere from $130 to $150 a week in food. I know people who will spend double that. Number two, we do not buy juice that often. When I say that often, it's because sometimes we do, sometimes I absolutely love orange juice, so I do sometimes, to me that's a splurge, I'll buy orange juice as a splurge. And the reason for that is because I feel like juice is so expensive, juice could be very expensive, especially if you drink it all the time. And for me, not just to save money, but also because, because juice has so much sugar, I feel like I do not want to drink my calories. So that's why we rarely now buy any juice. The other thing that I do is I try not to go hungry. If I go to the grocery store when I am hungry, I will buy half the store. That's what's gonna happen. So I try to either go after a meal or go after have a snack. I just do not go on an empty stomach because when I am hungry, I'm more vulnerable to buying things that I don't need and snacks and Oreos and chips that I just do not have budgeted for and should not be getting. Coupons, um, I wish I had the time to click clip coupons I really don't what I do is that I just go to Aldi Aldi is super cheap in my opinion and um, the sales are just the prices are so low that I honestly don't need coupons when I go over there um, and Aldi has made such a huge difference I have a whole video on Aldi here in my channel if you keep scrolling down you'll run into it that I show you guys how much I save just by going to Aldi so I wish I had the time for coupons if you do by all means do it I don't because I feel like I think Aldi doesn't take coupons when they don't have coupons just because their prices are very low or that low. Another thing that I do to keep myself in my budget is that I do not buy things that I don't need. If they are not on my list, uh, I don't buy them. Um, or I'll buy maybe one to two things that I don't necessarily need that maybe I'm splurging on. Like maybe like a bag of chips or you know something new that I want to try. But usually I do not buy things that I don't need. I usually just stick to my list and that way I stick to my budget, right? If I want to try new, even new makeup, I do my best not to buy a new one until I'm completely done with the old one. That is a huge budget tip for you because I've in the past I have bought just more than one um, brand from one item and I feel like I've collected them and I totally wasted my money when I should have just used it even if it was like an okay product or whatever if it's just totally not working for me then yes I'll get rid of it but if not you know what if it's just like eh, okay I will still use it until it's completely done and then I'll buy a new one another thing that we that I've been wanting to implement um, in our family is that we don't usually go out out to eat a lot why because it's more expensive and sometimes it's not healthier and yeah, we're in a budget. So what I've been trying to do lately is that if I know that we're going to go out or if I plan that week to go out, say if we want to go out to eat to like Chick-fil-A once a week, then I just put it into my food budget. So you can absolutely plan to go eat. Just make sure that you include it into your budget so that you don't go over. So yes, guys, I mean, like I said, these are tips that I do on a weekly basis when I go grocery shopping and this is what works for me. It might not necessarily work for you. You might have a bigger budget or you might have a lesser budget you know the whole point is to be organized so that you can stay within your budget and not go over and getting the things that you need first that are basic and to you and your family right so like i said they may not work for you um just you know grab the things that do and just see the things that totally work out for you and use those and try them out and check them out so I would love to see if you guys do in fact implement some of these and how they work for you. And if you have any tips for me that you uh, want me to try or that you want me to pass on on doing like grocery runs and um, suggestions and hacks and all that, just let me know and I will absolutely want to try them and I will absolutely pass them on, okay? All right, so don't forget that we accept prayer requests here in the Simple Faith blog. Just contact us either below, leave a comment, or yeah, email me, contact me through social media. I will add you to a prayer list that we pray over every single day. Hopefully this was helpful. And let me know if you guys want to see more um, videos like this. All right, guys. Have an amazing day. Take care. Bye.